Welcome back to another episode of The Pitch. My name is TJ Wingert. We'll kick things off with breaking news of the new Joan Perry Brock Center that will be the new home of Longwood men's and women's basketball teams. The center is expected to open in spring 2022 and will sit between 2,500 and 3,000 people. That is up from the max capacity of Willett Hall of 1,807. Now moving to the women's lacrosse team, they sit at 5-8, 2-1 in Big South play. They played a nail-biter this past Saturday against in-state foe the Radford Highlanders. It was 16-15 with just 8 seconds left. Adrian Rios takes a rip from right in front of the net, but it's high and off of the post and Longwood holds on for its first conference win. Then they made it two in a row in a close game against Gardner-Webb, winning 13-12. Caitlin Lucarelli led the way for the Lancers with a second seven-goal game on the season. She now has 41 goals on the year, as well as Taylor Blackstone being named Big South Freshman of the Week. On the year, she has 21 goals and 24 assists. Transitioning to the Red Hot softball team, they're winners of 11 of their last 13 games and have won 10 consecutive games against their conference rivals. The team topped the UVA Cavaliers on Tuesday night 11-6 thanks in part to a three-run home run from Jordan Clark, her fifth on the year, as well as a three-hit game from junior Casey Carr. The Lancers will be in action tonight at Radford before returning to Lancer Field this weekend to host the Charleston Southern Buccaneers. And now for the baseball team, they sit at 9-23, 4-8 in conference action. They took 2-3 of three against Charleston Southern this past weekend and played the Patriots close on Tuesday night. But it was a walk-off from Logan Driscoll that lifted George Mason past Longwood. This upcoming weekend, they'll travel to North Carolina to take on the Panthers of High Point University, who sit one game ahead of Longwood in the conference standings. Looking at men's tennis, they picked up their second conference win in dominating fashion yesterday when they topped Hampton 7-0. And the women's team followed up with a win of their own against the Pirates 5-2. And to round things out, the men's golf team, they finished 8th at the Golden Horseshoe Intercollegiate with a strong performance from junior Brandon Weaver, as well as fellow junior Tegan Stevenson. The women's team also had a top 10 finish this past week. They finished tied for 7th at the inaugural UNC Asheville Tournament, and they had three different Lancers finish in the top 25. Well, that does it for Episode 8 of The Pitch. My name is TJ Winger, and until next time, we are signing off.